talking of pressure, stress, hugely, uh, we live in a world now where everybody seems to be glued to their phones. Uh, what was I going to say? What's your thoughts on digitalization? Essentially, essentially we've got we've got access to information twenty four seven. Everything happens in real time. We're con permanently connected. Um, do you think for business uh, it's a good thing? And what was I going to say? What are the implications for people in leadership positions? Well, I think there's. I go back to the days. Uh, I remember it would be the the early 80s, I had an agent in Milan, Giorgio Oriani, and I would write to him. And six weeks later, I'd get a reply, and then I'd send him a contract, and six weeks later, I'd get it back. So it took me six months to do anything. And that was the choice, or I had to go and visit him. We had agents all over the world. It was quite a logistic and difficult thing to do. Whereas nowadays, I could probably do that in a couple of hours. Um, because of digitized. So there's tremendous efficiency in the digital world. However, the disadvantages, and my, forgive me, I'm an analogy person, but my analogy is our activities are like barcodes where the black lines are actually what we do and the white lines that are between the black lines are actually our time for rest and reflection. What we're doing with social media, I watched the train this morning, um, standing on the platform looking around, everyone's on a phone, they're either on social media or they're doing their emails or whatever. So what they're doing is filling out what traditionally would be a rest and reflection time, which is a white space between the black lines. They're filling it up with black lines, so they become a solid black box. They're always on, so they never rest and never reflect. And I think that's the disadvantage. So you either cope with that by deciding I'm not doing that or you artificially create rest and reflection time. So reflection allows you, years ago I would reflect on is this the right layout for a factory, should I have the right management structure? I would sit in my evenings and reflect on the decisions I had to make or had made and I thought it was really powerful. I wouldn't be sitting on thinking I'm working by doing email because we didn't have email in those days. So reflection is a really powerful tool, but it isn't given sufficient time. And rest is really important to give you the energy levels. And, and even to take a break away from doing something, and I would, as a fanatical numbers person, I like Sudoku, so I think I do the uh, fiendish problem first because I really like to tackle it. And there's times where I think, I think I made a mistake with this because I, I am a master of Sudoku. Therefore, they've made a printing error. There is no way I can advance here. <laughs> I'll land on the plane. I'll get the train into London or wherever, and I'll be sitting in a coffee shop, and I'll pick up the paper, and I'll go, there's a three. And I think, why on earth did I not see that? And I didn't see that because I was in this spiral of decision-making that allowed me to make the same errors all the time. I couldn't get out of this circle of, there's no solution to this. So sometimes that happens in business. You actually need to walk away and take a break, not for any other reason to let your brain download, let it refresh with new energy, and then revisit the problem. And often, you can solve a problem much easier if you revisit it rather than staying at it until you solve it. And you think at the moment where people aren't being given sufficient thinking time? They're not giving themselves not thinking giving them. time. If I don't know. If you were to say to you, you've got a list of things to do, a list of things to do, you've got to send an email to this agent, announce to staff this, I, I've got to do strategy, and then I must mail this to that. You can't fit strategy in as a, an action list item. You need to say, I need to plan to perhaps go off site and create a day where I'll have no pressure of work in order to roll the camera back and say, are we really doing the right thing? There's often in this busy world we're caught up on, we're like hamsters on a, a treadmill and we're running away generating power in business, but we need to generate time for reflection and I think that has to be done artificially because there's so many attractions and magnets, especially with uh, the internet world the way it is, to take us away from that.